Hi, dear traders. Bitcoin miners unexpectedly gain from ordinals. Tether, the issuer of the USDT stablecoin, reports a profit of $1.48 billion. Elon Musk's latest tweet sparks a price rally for a little-known NFT. Let's review all the latest news about the crypto industry and make a crypto forecast. The events of the previous seven days have instilled optimism in the crypto market. Given that virtual money is closely correlated with fiat and the greenback's exchange rate largely depends on the U.S. Federal Reserve's interest rates, an insignificant drop in U.S. inflation yesterday was enough to make the charts of the main cryptocurrencies go green. Now the American Central Bank may well consider pausing rate hikes. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar index instantly plunged to the mark of 101.2 after the release of the report on U.S. consumer inflation. Interestingly, the flagship cryptocurrency also tumbled yesterday. However, the fall occurred only three hours later, following the plunge in the dollar when the U.S. government budget statement for April was delivered. However, Bitcoin started to go down a bit earlier. Was it due to a sell-off triggered by whales? or due to the release of the statement. After all, it would be wiser to sell large amounts of crypto savings in the face of default. Besides, it's the United States that has filed more lawsuits against crypto companies than any other country and has confiscated a lot of crypto assets. In addition, legal battles cost a fortune. For instance, Ripple's two-year fight against the Securities and Exchange Commission has cost the firm a whopping $200 million. The anonymous nature of cryptocurrencies in this case hid the identity of sellers who pushed Bitcoin to the mark of $27,000 per coin. The price then slightly recovered to the level of $27,700. However, if we track the movement of the number one coin for the past seven days, we may notice that it has been bearish since May 6. Moving from the mark of 29,673, the price broke through the psychological level of $28,000 on Monday and consolidation phase began. On Tuesday and partially on Wednesday, Bitcoin traded in a very narrow range of 27,735-27,800. All in all, uh, the premier cryptocurrency lost uh, approximately $2,000 in the past seven days. Some experts reckon the decline came due to the so-called FOD. Fear, uncertainty, doubt that explains the latest situation on Binance. The exchange has seen over 157,000 Bitcoin withdrawn in a relatively short period of time, which might indicate that the platform is not liquidating its Bitcoin assets. Clearly, it gave a serious cause for concerns to investors. Last week was not all doom and gloom, however, of the past several days the revenues of Bitcoin miners increased significantly thanks to the implementation of NFTs and BRS, BRC20 on the Bitcoin blockchain via the Ordinals protocol. The Bitcoin Ordinals protocol was launched fairly recently in January 2023. Unlike non-fungible tokens on Ethereum and other blockchains, Ordinals ensure that artwork, text or video has an immutable presence on the network. By doing so, they are linked to a Bitcoin ordinal and create a single and unique product. Over the last few months, Bitcoin ordinals have become the most hyped Web3 trend. The daily number of inscriptions has steadily increased and reached a new all-time high on May 8th. Ordinals fees also went up, making miners reach literally overnight. The Melody NFTs have uh, skyrocketed following a post by Twitter CEO Elon Musk. He posted a meme with the caption, there is no meme, I love you. In less than an hour, the post gained more than 4 million views. 
that we draw the price of the asset to exorbitant heights. Within 24 hours, the Milademeca collection went up by 57% overall. Elon Musk's tweets uh, similarly pushed up the Dogecoin meme coin in the past. Thanks to ordinals, the number of transactions on the Litecoin network also skyrocketed this week and again thanks to ordinals. The hype over Bitcoin NFTs increased transaction fees resulting in congestion of the network. As waiting times increased significantly, users began to look for alternative blockchains which were faster and had lower transaction fees. Litecoin was the obvious choice in this regard. However, its price dropped slightly in the range between 89.1 and 76.5 last week. Nevertheless, it is still in the green. On the other hand, Ethereum, which has become consolidating since May 8th, failed to any positive factors at the start of this week. It lost about 3.3% in the past seven days. The sluggish trading in the narrow range between 1,797 and 1,886 does not suggest any bullish momentum. The hype around MEM tokens on the Ethereum network has begun to wane. Earlier, it had boosted the second major currency somewhat, but now that focus is shifting towards tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain. However, the world of cryptocurrency is very diverse and exciting, and it is developing so rapidly that surprises are possible at any moment. This, of course, means new opportunities. This way, the weekly crypto market review. We wish you successful and profitable trading. See you next week.